So right now, we're going to go into our air conduction. So we're on the right ear with the IP30s. AUD is going to be for your standard audiometry with a tone continuous. We are replacing the knobs and the buttons with your up and down, left and right arrow keys. And you're going to use space bar or enter to present. When you're holding down the space bar that's presenting when you let go, that is when the signal is not being played. And anytime the patient does hear the tone, they're going to press the patient response button. And you're going to get a, uh, it's like a lime green circle around your marker. And then also there's going to be a lime green indicator light down here next to your no response. This is not saving anything. This is, again, just an indicator light. Once you have determined uh, the, the frequency and the hearing level that you want to keep your, your point at, um, all you do is hit the right or left arrow keys to change frequency. And I'm just going to put in a audiogram here real quick. Again, there's no saving, so you can always go back and retest. We always retest 1000. So we can go back, do your retest, and then you're all set for air conduction on the right ear. Next test is going to be your bone conduction. So on the right hand side, under your left ear, we have IP30s and you have the B71. So you'll click on B71 and it's going to be the same process as your air conduction. You're going to use the up and down, left and right arrow keys in the space bar or enter to present. Under your air conduction, we do have a toned UCL and MCL that you can use. So if you wanted to do a toned UCL, all you do is select UCL here. And again, it's the same process as before. So you're going to use the up and down, left and right arrow keys, space bar, enter to present. Same with your MCL. Below your audiometry, you see on MCL, you have tone, warble, and narrow band noise. You can change these, and this would just change for this particular patient. It is not a default. Um, then you have continuous and pulse. Below here, we have your masking. So once you select masking, it's gonna turn aqua blue, or the little red light's gonna come on. And then in the drop down, it always defaults to opposite ear, narrow band noise with an IP30. Right now, the right ear is selected, so the masking is being played in the left ear because it is opposite. And to change your maskings, or the up and down arrow keys change your hearing level and left and right change your frequency. For masking, you can hold control and change your, your dB level or your hearing level of the masking. So uh, one of the nice things about the masking portion is, well, if you've decided that this is the distance that you want to keep between your test signal and your mask signal, you can select this little lock arrow here or lock button. Now you can just use the, the up key and it's going to keep that distance between the signal, the test signal and your masking signal. If you don't want to use the keys on the keyboard, you can use your plus and minus down at the bottom of your slide bars. Below your masking, you have up and down arrow keys and test. This is if you want to use your mouse to do your testing. 